Hello everyone, my name is Parker and welcome back to another gameplay commentary. Thank you so much for stopping by. Guys, again, I want to say thank you so much for over 100 subscribers. As I record this commentary, I'm sitting at 108 subs, so guys, thank you so much uh, for that amazing milestone. I hope you guys enjoyed the gaming setup. I got a lot of positive feedback on that video. Honestly, it got a lot more attention than I thought it was going to receive. So again, thank you guys so much for that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of comments saying, oh man, your setup looks just like mine, and um, oh man, I really enjoyed it. So uh, those kind of comments were really awesome to see. And again, guys, thank you so much for the support on that video and, and the support uh, for me. So you guys are watching some good old Call of Duty 4. I'm feeling pretty nostalgic today, so I thought, why not do a commentary on COD 4? Plus, I haven't posted COD 4 in a while, and this is definitely my top two uh, favorite Call of Duties beside uh, Black Ops 1. I'd probably say this one would be my my first favorite though just because this was my first Call of Duty I ever played this is the first Call of Duty that I actually uh, played online so this this game really obviously holds a special place in my heart and then Black Ops I love Black Ops the only thing with Black Ops is just second chance and a lot of the same guns are used in the same match and that brings me to my main topic and you guys probably already know what that is from uh, the thumbnail and the title of the video and a tweet from Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, link will be in the description. Uh, but this video is about, uh, or not, well, yeah, about uh, a Call of Duty 2014 wish list. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying Call of Duty 2014 because, um, <laughs> no, it's not going to be called Call of Duty 2014. Um, it might, who knows, nobody knows yet, but I can, I can, I can guess, I'm like 95% sure that it won't be, or actually, I'm like 99.999% sure it won't be called Call of Duty 2014. Uh, but the reason I'm calling it that is because I did a wish list one time. Uh, actually, it was my only wish list, to be honest with you, on this channel. It was for Ghosts, but I thought it was going to be called Modern Warfare 4. So I called it Modern Warfare 4 wish list, and there was just a lot of confusion uh, going on, and I had a lot of criticism saying, Oh, man, no, it's called Ghost, man, not Modern Warfare 4. Take this video off and change it. It's Ghost. Uh... <laughs> But uh, that's how I perceive nerds on the comments. Um, but anyways, I digress. Uh, so this that, that's why I'm calling it uh, 2014. So if you don't know, Sledgehammer is actually making the next Call of Duty, which I'm kind of nervous about because I'm re I really like Treyarch games and I'm really looking forward to Treyarch. But the good thing is, is that Treyarch will have an extra year to really work on their next game, really make sure that everything is good, everything's balanced, everything's you know fixed, and hopefully it'll be. Uh, the closest to perfect Call of Duty we'll have. So let me go ahead and get into uh, the actual wish list itself. Um, gameplay, I've got it divided on my notes into three sections. Uh, gameplay, uh, balance, and then miscellaneous. And the miscellaneous are just kind of cool little extra ideas um, uh, about uh, um, some features I'd like to see in the game. So let's get into the gameplay. Uh, first off, uh, if this video somehow gets the sledgehammer, Hopefully you guys pay attention to this. If you work for Sledgehammer, obviously, if you don't work for Sledgehammer, then just sit back, enjoy the commentary. If you like the ideas, let me know. But somehow, if this gets to Sledgehammer, please, please fix the spawn system. Do not, and I repeat, do not repeat what Call of Duty Ghost did with the payback spawn system. I cannot tell you how critical... Uh, that that aspect is for me in that game. That's why I don't play Ghost. I, I don't like the payback spawns. I also don't like the maps. I also think that's another thing holding it back. But that's for another uh, idea to talk about. But um, please please don't do the spawns with the payback system. Make the spawns like COD 4. I think the spawns in COD 4. I'm not exactly sure, but I think in in COD 4 it was mainly just two-sided. I think if your team, most of your teammates were over here, they'd spawn on the other side. If most of your teammates were on this side, you'd spawn on this side. So, I mean, it's just really good and it helps you guys kind of, uh, it still gives you that high past, high past, high paced action because you're constantly having to run back and forth to each spawn, especially if there's too many teammates on one side. So, it, it just makes for a more fun, enjoyable game without having to worry about being shot from behind. That's the most annoying thing ever. Uh, that brings me into again these smaller maps bring bring maps back that are just like this I think this map's called Backlot. Uh, this map is perfectly sized. It's got a perfect amount of buildings um, Actually, well, maybe maybe it could use a little less buildings But all around this map is perfect size wise Also, maybe do maps like wet work. I know wet work was like the worst Call of Duty map in the history of Call of Duty maps, but in, in, in terms of size and in terms of 
Um, not a lot going on on the map. I, I, I like the map in that aspect, but I hate playing on it. I, I, I wish they had the vote to skip option in this game. Usually when that wet work map comes up, I just go ahead and bounce from the lobby. Um, I'd also like to see something uh, as, as far as kill streaks go, maybe like team support streaks, such as if you're playing domination and your teammates uh, cap a flag or your teammates um, capture the enemy's flag or capture a flag via domination. Um, I'd like to see some sort of like uh, support streaks as far as that goes, like in terms of teammates doing things instead of just you solo. Because in, like in Modern Warfare 3 and I think in Ghosts, again, I don't really play Ghosts, so um, I, don't, I don't know if it kind of has that. But in Modern Warfare 3, you had the support streaks where you could die and it wouldn't set you back in streaks. Um, I'd like to see something like that, but not in terms of individual. I'd like to see that come as maybe like a team-based uh, team thing. Um, let's get into the balance because this video is ending really in, in about two minutes. Um, I'd all, I, the one thing I'd say good about Ghost is the gun balance. I think the gun balance is really good in that game. So I would, Sledgehammer, I would somehow try to implement uh, the same ideas they had about uh, guns and Ghosts. I would try to really stick to that system because I think because I think the guns in that game are, are really balanced. I also think the perks are, are, are great as far as balance goes. Um... One thing I do have to say, if you guys are going to put any sort of uh, stealth streak such as Ghost or UAV Jammer or Cold-Blooded, please make it like it is in Black Ops 2 where if you're, if you're moving, it's active. If, if you stop moving to sit in a corner, then, then Ghost isn't working. Please implement something like that. Don't let it be to where it's permanent no matter if they're moving or walking. I, I really dislike that because it, it really kind of takes away from the game. It makes the gameplay slower and stuff like that. Alright, so before the video ends, let's get into the fun stuff. Let's get into the miscellaneous. So the first thing I have here in my notes is um, an emblem and title creator. You guys know that you can obviously edit an emblem from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, and I don't think there's any other game you can edit an emblem on. At least I don't think. Not even sure. <laughs> but I'd like to see maybe more colors, maybe more designs. Uh, but I would like to see a title creator. I think that'd be sick. And then I'd also like to see build a gun. That would just kind of add more uniqueness where you can pick the stock and all that. But anyways, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.